guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm good. And I'm hyper because I left the coffee this morning. And I'm not used to being up this early. It's like 8.30 in the morning and I woke up at like 6.30. So, energized and ready to get my day going. So, I thought today, that's also why I look like a hot mess, is because I didn't do like anything to this yet today. So, sorry about that. But I thought, I was like past like month I've been trying out some new products and I got like new favorites but go it's on my comfort zone and trying some new things so I figured I would just do a favorites video for you guys and maybe that would help to get help you guys to get to know me a little bit better too um I find if I watch like favorite videos too like I really get to like understand the person a little bit better too you get to see like what they like what they don't like um, like what kind of products they're into, if they like makeup a lot, if they don't like makeup a lot, if they're more like to the active side, or like they tell you, they can tell you about like their hobbies and stuff, what they do. So yeah, so let's just get right into it because I'm really hyper. <laughs> so my battery's soon gonna die. Look my lights. Okay, so my first favorite thing, me and my mom went to Costco like last month and they had these Oh my god, it's so soft. I wish you could feel this. Like, it's so cute. Love it. And it's in my favorite color, so. But they had these blankets on. Like, Costco is the bomb. Love it. They had these on for, like, 20 bucks. Like, it's so soft. And it's actually, like, a big size blanket, too. Like, you know those, like, throws that you can get at Walmart that they always have on sale for, like, 20 bucks? And it literally, like, doesn't even cover your feet. And I'm not that tall, either. Like, I'm only 5'5", five five, so... But that one's like big. Look, I have a king size bed in it. Like, it can stretch out this way perfectly and this way. So, I love that. And next thing that I've been really loving lately is um, if any of you, like, who don't know me really personally that watch me, uh, I have a lot of stomach issues. So, a lot of foods and drinks my stomach and my body is really sensitive to. So, I can't have. But my friend Allie introduced me to Airbon. And a lot of their products are vegan, they're easily digestible because they are like derived from either a plant or a fruit. It's all natural, there's no like added preservatives or anything like that. Um, it's vegan, non-GMO, it's lactose free. I'm also lactose myself, so that's pretty bomb. Um, gluten free, which is really cool. If any of you guys have lac like um, lactose allergies, if any of you guys have like celiac disease or you're kind of like gluten slash wheat sensitive I think it'd be really cool um they have like a bunch of different products too like they have health line skincare um makeup which is really cool um they have these really nice face creams the RE9 collection is really nice I've been using that personally and I really like it uh, especially where my skin is like really sensitive and dry. I don't know if you could tell too. I have eczema and psoriasis like on my skin. So if you see like red blotches like on my body sometimes, don't worry. Yeah, girl's fine. I'm just, my skin's just over here fucking hating me like every other day. Um, but the main thing, two things that I've been trying with Airbond that I really like is the chocolate protein powder. Like, oh my lord, this tastes so good. I don't know about any of you, but I've been like trying to, you know, get a little bit healthier in my life. You know, get on my, trying to get my bikini bod. I know I'm a little bit late to the game because it's August, but you know, there's always next summer. Am I right, ladies? So... Um, I've been trying those and I don't know about you, but I've tried so many protein powders in my life and they all taste like crap <laughs> Like crap like so gross, but this one This one you guys this one the chocolate one literally tastes like cake like cake batter Who the hell doesn't want to taste cake batter in the morning? I know I do And when it's a protein powder that makes me feel even more better about myself because it's it's healthy, right? So yeah, so I mean Drinking a lot of smoothies with those. And another thing I really like too is if any of you have, are you like caffeine sensitive like I am or um, your stomach just doesn't like caffeine like mine does. I have these little things called uh, fizz sticks and they're really cool. Uh, they promote alertness and enhance cognitive performance. If you have like, especially in the morning, like my cognitive performance is like, <clears throat> like I'm just, I don't even know how I survived the first couple of periods before lunch in school because it's just 
my brain doesn't feel like it functions properly in the morning. It helps re relieve fatigue, promote endurance, and enhance motor performance. It's a source of antioxidants, and these also help metabolize carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, they come in these little tiny sticks. If I could get this box open, it would be cool. They come in these little tiny sticks like this. And, um, they, they, like, they contain natural caffeine. So, it's not, like, stuff that you would find in, like, your energy drinks or your coffee or anything like that. It's all natural caffeine. So, it's really easy on the stomach. It's plant-based, so it's easily digestible. And with these things, like, you don't have a crash. Like, you instantly feel energized. And you don't feel, like, that natural crash that you get after coffee or energy drinks or anything like that. Or even chocolate. Like, if you have a lot of chocolate throughout the day. I know some people, like, even dark chocolate. Like, they'll just nibble on a couple pieces of dark chocolate throughout the day. And that's, they'll use that as their source of caffeine. Or if you drink a lot of pop, um, you will eventually feel tired. Because your body's just going to crash. But with this, it doesn't. And my other favorite thing is my Airborn water bottle. Like, this is so cute, you guys. Look. And it has, like, a pretty big spout on it, too. So, like, if you want to drink, like, very smoothies or milkshakes or anything in this, it's pretty cool. And if any of y'all want to buy some Airborn stuff, I'll link my, like, my site down below. And by no means did I make this video for, like, to promote myself or anything like that. I'm just saying that, like, I personally like these products and my body hates me <laughs> and i'm able to eat and drink these things and wear them so and my body's like really sensitive like my body hates itself it's almost like i'm allergic to myself but yeah um uh, another thing i've been really loving is i've had eczema and psoriasis like my whole life i've only recently started to get psoriasis it's mostly like on my scalp so i've been finding like a lot of shampoos and stuff lately has been making like my head break out which is really weird because I've been using herbal essences for years and it's never made me break out until recently. So, I don't know. But I've been using a vino like since I was a little, little girl. And I love this scent. It's so nice. It's a coconut skin relief body wash. As gentle as fragrance free. It relieves itchy, dry skin. And it's this one. And I wish you guys could smell this because, oh my god, it smells so good. I got this at Walmart for like five something. So... If you have, um, like, sensitive skin like I do or eczema, like I said, I would recommend Aveeno because it's all, um, it has, like, um, the clotted oatmeal in it. So, it's really good for soothing your skin. And I really like it. Another thing I've been using lately is the Nivea Sun SPF, like, this little, that little lip balm. And it's really nice. I like this one compared to like the regular Nivea because I find like the hydrating one like I don't know like it almost makes my lips like more dry so like I'm dependent on it more. I don't know. That could just be me too. And another lip product that your girl's been loving. So I lit a little splurge in St. John's and I got the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and I got it in Manila or Manila however you want to pronounce it. And I think this color is so cute. But yeah. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Probably not very well because I'm filming on my phone and the autofocus sucks. Another lip product that I'm... I actually have a couple lip products. Who is your girl turning into? But this Revlon Kiss Balm, Lasting Hydration, Natural Fruit Oils. And I got it in peach. And this one also has SPF in it too, which is really cool. Um, my mom also told me too that you should be wearing something like for your lips with SPF in it or even like just like a facial cream with something with sunscreen all year round. Now, I don't do that. Little does she know. But I'm getting better. So I'm probably going to start to do that because I want my skin to age very quickly. But I guess I'll just stay with the face for now. Um, I recently got a primer. And a lot of primers make me break out, so this one has not. So that is that is cool because a lot of them do make me break out. Um, the one thing I like about hard candy too is they do not test on animals either, just like Airbond. So I really like that. Uh, this is the Sheer Envy Perfecting Primer, the little hard candy one, and this one's actually really nice and it goes on clear. Uh, I've seen other primers too that they go on like almost like an orangey tinge 
and I really don't like that. Another thing too I tried that I really want to get is it's I think it's by Maybelline. It's like this primer stick and you like put it on almost like a it's almost kind of like the same feel as like a contour highlight stick. It's really nice. I tried that too and I really want to get one for myself. Um, something that I've been loving for my hair has been the Kardashian Beauty Black Seed Oil Elixir Intensive Repair Treatment. And this is what it looks like. And it comes with like a little pump like this. And it's really nice. It smells really good too. It kind of gives like the same um, effects as Moroccan oil does. But my hairdresser said that this one uh, actually works better. And it's cheaper than Moroccan oil too. So that's like a win-win. And I have recently tried this. Um, I personally hate fake lashes. Beauty gurus do not come for me. But I hate putting them on. I hate eyelash glue. Like it makes my freaking eyeballs burn. I don't know why people do that to themselves every single day. I don't know how you do it, but I applaud you for it because I wouldn't be doing it. But my, I really have been wanting eyelash extensions, but I've also heard that like if you want to stop getting them, that like it makes your natural eyelashes um, like shorter and fall out more than what they did before you went and got them done. So I'm really like on the fence about that now. So my mom got me the Ardell Professional Magnetic Lashes. They don't um, require like any glue at all. You just put one on top and one on bottom. They kind of like snap together like this on your eye. But I would recommend wearing mascara, like put mascara on before you put these on because if not, if you have really short eyelashes like I do, like they kind of were just like slipping off, like they didn't really have anything to hold on to. Um, another thing that I've been liking for my eyes is the NYX Professional Makeup That's the Point Eyeliner. And it looks like this. That way it's easy to see. And it has like this felt tip point. So like if you're new to like doing the cat eye or like a really like dramatic wing, I would recommend getting like this tip I find was the easiest uh, over like other kinds, like the really like skinny tips or like this, the round, like uh, almost like a little wheel tip. I find that this one is a lot better. But that's just my personal opinion. And I don't do my makeup that often. So I mean, probably shouldn't take my word for it. I also got this little eyeshadow palette. I actually got two of these eyeshadow palettes I'm going to tell you guys. Um, Christmas. I actually think I got this one Christmas of last year. But I recently just pulled it out because I'm the type of person. Like I'll just use like one foundation until it's gone. Throw it out. Go get a new one. Like I don't have multiples. Because I don't do my makeup enough to really like have a big collection. So my stepmom gave me like a bunch of these little ones. But I like this one the best. It's a little hard candy. It has like these little eyeshadows in it. And it's really pretty actually. They're really sparkly, but they don't have like a lot of fallout on them, which is good. I really like these colors. It's like a bronzy kind of summer transition to fall colors, I think. And then my mom got me the Magnify Eyes Blush Edition from Rimmel London Eye Contouring Palette. And I think this one is really pretty too. Like look at all these pretty colors. There's like grays and purples and blushes. It's really nice. Oh, I really like this one. I think this one would be really pretty in the fall. Um, something different that a lot, I don't know if very many people do this or not, but I used to use the Clean and Clear Eye Makeup Remover and that was like $8 a bottle. So I recently have been using baby wipes to take off my makeup if I do do my makeup. Or to just like wash my face in the morning. And I use the unscented ones. I get 88 of these for like two something at Walmart. And personally, I think it's like a lot. They're perfect for sensitive skin. They're hypo They're hypoallergenic and they're alcohol free. Uh, they have cream infused and there's no harsh chemicals or ingredients. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my voice cuts in and out shortly after I wake up. But um, I like these a lot better and I mean you're getting more bang for your buck really because you only need probably like one or two of these to take off your makeup. And I've done like pretty heavy eyes and you can still get it off with one or two. So I mean really when you think about it, I mean, I don't know. And one of my favorite things, okay, I don't know about you guys, but I hate, in the summertime, I only wear sports bras. 
as you can see. I don't wear none of my fancy bras because I'm sweating too much. Like, no. My titties are too warm. I'm just not, I'm just not messing with it. And a lot of the time, like, when I use, like, regular deodorant, even when it says, like, invisible, it's not freaking invisible. So, like, when you pull your shirt down, there's, like, this deodorant lawn or whatever. So, I've tried this secret invisible spray, and it's actually not very invisible, but it's better than deodorant, I find. And it lasts longer, and it's, like, more lightweight. Like, my armpit doesn't feel like it's, like, I don't know, like, it has petroleum jelly on it or something. Like, it's not, like, smothering, which is neat. Oh my god, excuse me. And I got it in the cool water lily scent. It looks like this. It's a secret like antiperspirant spray. And it smells so good. Oh my god. It's actually pretty cheap, dude. It's only like three something. So I guess it's like the same price I guess you would pay for regular deodorant. But I don't know. I just think it's like better too for like the summer. So it's like nice and lightweight. And it's actually waterproof too. So if you go swimming with it, I went swimming with it and came out and like it's still been on my arms. And I've been swimming for like probably like one to two hours. So that's pretty good. The only like crappy thing is like when you're in the shower, I find you gotta like scrub your armpits a little bit more. But I mean, eh, at least you're getting more clean. And I've been using this product for like, the next one I'm gonna show you for probably like two years now. I am a very fair, very pale skin person. Um, and I have a lot of freckles, if you can't tell. But I actually really like my freckles. Like, I don't, like, like, I don't have the insecurity towards my freckles. Like, I know a lot of other girls do. Like, they really want to cover up their freckles. They don't like them. So, they want a very heavy based foundation so you can't see them. I, on the other hand, am allergic to a lot of foundations where my skin is so sensitive and dry. It's very hard. Um, a lot of foundations I find are made specifically lean towards people who have like oily skin or combo skin but this one I found it's still a little bit dark compared to me so I mix it with a little bit of like my face cream or like concealer if it's in the winter because I get even paler then it's the Maybelline New York fit me foundation in 110 porcelain and this is the lightest shade that they carry and it's still a little too dark. It's the Hydrate Smooth New Formula uh, Normal to Dry Skin. And this is what it looks like. And that's just what the back looks like. And that's the, is that the right way? Yeah, that's the color. One tin porcelain. And I find it's not like a drying foundation. And it actually has pretty decent coverage too. And it's pretty cheap. It's like, I think the last time I got this, it's probably like five or six dollars, I'm pretty sure. So it's not too, too bad. And the last thing that I've been loving lately this month is the 20 grams of protein bio pro protein water, 90 calories, zero carbs, and has no sugar, which is pretty cool. And this one, I've tried this one and the orange one, and there's also a berry one, but I haven't tried that one yet. Me and my boyfriend have tried two of these, the lemon and the orange one, and they're both so good. The orange one literally tastes like tang. Like we used to have when we were kids, it was, oh, and this one actually tastes like a subtle lemonade, which is good because I find like real lemonade, like it's really like sweet. So I find that really good. So yeah, that's all the things I've been enjoying lately. Oh my God, wait, I forgot one thing. Oh my God. So there's this little like bath bomb beauty spot that's um, opened up in our town and a hairdresser does it. Like it's a really cool spot. You can get your nails done there. There's like massages. She has like all um this homemade like bath bombs and stuff uh body bars soaps like a bunch of different stuff and we went in there and i love to like support and shop local although a lot of places sadly where i live in newfoundland um is very expensive where we're an island and a lot of stuff down here has to be like have a markup on it just because a lot of things have to get shipped to us and stuff and i mean times are tough here now by so, but she had these like little, um, like hand soaps there. And I asked her, I was like, are they for like sensitive skin? Cause I break out really easily. And she said, everything there is like all natural. Uh, she makes it herself. She's never had anyone have like any water infections. which is really common with a lot of bath bombs and like the Epsom salts or bath salts. A lot of people don't know that. Um, 
it's really common for people to have like a lot of breakouts and stuff like that because there's actually like a lot of dyes and stuff in a lot of bath bombs. But these bars of soap, I wish you guys could smell this because, oh my God, it smells so good. It kind of smells like, it kind of smells like raspberry yogurt, but like a hint of something else, but it smells so good. It's so cute. Like, look, it's like a pink, like ombre type tie dye kind of feel. And it has like little sparkles on top. Oh, love it. Love it. But yeah, that's been my favorite so far this month. I'll probably do one of these, I guess, maybe like once every month or once every couple months because it's cool to just see like what new products um, you accumulate throughout your life, what you like. Some things you'll always keep your go-tos and some things you'll just like chuck and get new things. Me, I'm pretty, pretty low-key, so I'd say a lot of this, like, like I've been using this foundation since... Oh my god, I don't know, since probably like grade 10, so that's like probably four or five years ago now. So, yeah, I hope you guys like my video. I'm like really jittery, so I'm probably gonna go watch some Netflix or something and wait for some of this energy to burn off because like, <laughs> oh, another thing I want to show you guys before I go is my nails. Your girl got her nails did the other day and they're so cute. Like the camera does not do it justice because I can't auto, like I can't like zoom in and let it focus. Even if I put my face at the frame, it's just not gonna focus, but oh my God, it's so pretty. Look at this cute little necklace too that my mom gave me. It says dog mom. It's probably my favorite necklace. Love it, love it, love it, love it. But I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you next time. Bye.